Hey, what's going on, guys? Mr. Too Good at Cod here, bringing you another gameplay uh, or commentary, in, in fact, uh, on uh, Weekly Beast mode. Um, so today, what I'm bringing you is 130 and four gameplay. It is not my gameplay; it's Evil Batman. Uh, but he wanted me to do the commentary on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so I don't know if we, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched my double nuclear on Weekly Beast mode, but uh, that was a really big hit, and uh, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, that was probably the biggest. Or best gameplay I've gotten, but um, but uh, what I want to talk about today is um, what what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do on my channel. So I know if you guys have watched the commentary, I explained a few things, but I want to go more into detail uh, with those things right now. So number one, uh, my first series was gonna be I'm gonna be bringing you guys um, some tip videos, like uh, you know gun setups and class setups, what to you know what to expect in, onto a class, what are the classes I use, like. Um, like for example, in this gameplay, I'm not really sure what Batman's using or running, but uh, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure that uh, that it's a pretty good loadout. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go in depth with uh, with guns and what I think are the best. For example, I'll just do uh, just do the MSMC for example uh, on my uh, on my double nuclear. I was running uh, the dual mag and silencer. That's probably the best combo on it next to the uh, silencer and extended mag. Um, but, uh, but the MSMC is probably one of the stronger. Um, stronger submachine guns next to the Evo or the uh, or the um, MP7. The MP7 is also a strong one. Uh, the PDW not so much. I mean, it's off and on. It's not consistent. Like uh, like I find the um, the uh, MSMC. This is so many guns. I keep forgetting what I want to talk about. But uh, a new one that's one of my favorites now is the uh, the AN94. The AN94 is actually probably now my favorite uh, favorite gun in the game. And the reason why is just it's so powerful. Um, up on my channel um, later on this week, I'll be uploading a nuclear I got with it, um, and it's just a beast gun. Um, it's it's probably one of the best guns in the game, if not the best. It like in Montfort 2, the AK was was literally the best damaged assault rifle, as opposed to the ACR was you know the most ac accuracy. But um, but definitely for sure, the AN94 is one of my faves in this game. Um, and uh, ask me what I think about the Peacekeeper. I think it's a piece of shit, even though I picked it up uh, in my double nuclear. Uh, it, you know, it did save my ass, but the millimeter scanner on it, you know, was was, was hard to was hard to use. Um, but uh, but in my opinion, I really don't like the Peacekeeper. I mean, you know, it's the first time they've introduced DLC for uh, guns and stuff. And you know, I think that I think that you guys can make way better guns than this. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because you see all the modern submachine guns in the game, and then you launch this piece of shit. And it, it it just kind of takes away the modernness of the game. It, it makes it like it's like it's a future like alien weapon. So, you know, I definitely don't agree with that. It wasn't consistent. I don't really like it. And it's and it's more of an assault rifle than it is a uh, submachine gun. Even though it looks like a submachine gun, you know, feels like a submachine gun. It, it feels more for an assault rifle for someone like me. But uh, getting back to the AN94, my best uh, my best recommendation on the AN94 would probably be Red Dot and Fast Mag silencer. I guess if you really want it but um but usually if you're playing just casually by yourself or with one other friend or two other friends i'd usually run red dot and uh red dot and or um uh, dual mag uh, i'm not really sure what other attachments work well with uh red red uh red dot but uh but yeah the the iron sight's okay i mean you know it's uh, it's good up to a point where you know you you get the red dot and you're like you know screw the iron sight it's trash um, but uh, but sometimes the iron sight's really useful. Uh, I find sometimes, hence sometimes, not most of the time. Most of the time it's a pile of shit. But uh, but anyway, so that's probably one of my number one faves. Um, and uh, back when I was Master Prestige, my favorite gun to use again was the MSMC. Um, and I you know I really like the uh, the Vector. You know the Vector is really underestimated. It, it's a pretty powerful gun. Um, I find that its fire rate is just unreal. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, but it's, it's just an unreal gun. I mean, the, the Vector's also a, a really good gun. Uh, not one of my favorites, but just, just one of those, just one of those ones that I picked up. Uh, I shouldn't say on Master Prestige it was my favorite. It really wasn't. But, I mean, it was a good gun. Uh, for the amount of time I had using it was about the 100 headshots and then the other bullshit challenges you have to do to get gold. Um... Christ, I'm surprised they didn't just, you know, make you run to the store and, you know, purchase the gold and stuff like that, and then, you know, physically paint it onto your gun. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, 
It's just, uh, it's just, uh, it, back, again, the, uh, the Vector's not one of those guns I'm gonna use most of the time, nor is any other, you know, shitty gun in the game, which is pretty much all of them. So, um, so yeah, guys, so, that's not, that's an example of what I'd be talking about. Um, also, I'm gonna do, like, class setup, so, like, one of the best, you know, equipment to run with some machine gun, you know, for example, I think the C4 is probably the best. Uh, I know sometimes you throw it and it doesn't actually kill the enemy, or most of the time it doesn't kill the enemy. But but it's one powerful, uh, powerful tool. And I, you know, I'm glad that uh, that they allow you to pick up more because you know when out. you couldn't pick up more, that was just bullshit. Um, so I'm glad that you can do that now. And uh, and yeah, so uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that double nuclear. I still enjoy it. Uh, again, if you're new to the uh, new to the Weagle Be Smoke channel and you're watching this gameplay, please go check out my personal channel, Mr. Two Get Cod. I have it uploaded there. I'll be uploading a uh, 87 and one gameplay uh, probably tonight or uh, tomorrow night or something. But it's going to come up soon. And like I said, I'll be uploading that nuclear with um, with that AN94. Now what I'm going to try and do also as another series, I'm going to try and do a nuclear with every gun. Now I know the game's been out for quite a while and a lot of people are doing this, but you know, I kind of I kind of really want to do this too because I'm at the point now where, I mean, I'm getting gameplays to upload and they're upload quality. And, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm having fun because I used to just, you know, you know, play once in a while. If I got a good gameplay, I got a good gameplay. And back when I did have like a, a channel, uh, my old channel, I'm not going to mention it because I don't want anyone to subscribe to it because I was just pointless on that, but but some of the other channels, I only uploaded 40 plus kills, and I'm embarrassed about that because I know that uh, as a player, I can do much better, um, but uh, but yeah, so on this channel, I'll be uploading, you know, a try and upload a nuclear with every gun, and it might not be uh, consistent, and I probably won't be able to finish it because I'll be having so many other gameplays I'm going to upload, but um, but I'll try and do as many nuclears with uh, each gun as I can. I'm not going near the ballistic knife or the crossbow or the assault shield for that matter. Uh, I think all three of those things are bullshit. And uh, oh, that's that's one thing I want to talk about. So earlier today I was playing, uh, and I don't remember the map. I think it was uh, I think it was downhill. Might have been downhill, the new DLC, or it might have been um, slums. And I died twice off of the VTOL. Due to uh, due to the crossbow, so I, you know the crossbow, you know, not on my side today, nor is it ever on my side. And the ballistic knife. I, I remember Batman and I were playing one game, and both both of us died to a ballistic knife. You know, it's bullshit. But um, but anyway, guys, so I'll try my best to get a nuclear with every gun. Um, I've already done the MSMC, the um, the uh, AN94, and you know, I think that. Uh, I think that I'll probably the next one. You guys choose. I'll let you guys choose. Don't mention a sniper because that's going to be highly impossible for me. Um, but uh, but anyway, I'll let you choose it. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. Uh, I'm running out of time here. Don't really know what to talk about. But anyway, if you guys uh, see this video, please come check out my channel. I'll be uploading uh, you know 60, 70 plus kill gameplays and uh, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Uh, if you are new to it, please subscribe to We Go Beast Mode. And if you have some time, please subscribe to my own channel. Again, it's Mr. Too Good at COD and. Uh, I guess I guess that's it. Anyway guys, I'm out. Beast. Orbital VSAT awaiting orders. Enemies down. That's a kill. Hard point is ours. Hard point contested. We're losing this fight. Hard point locked down. Charging EMP. Hard point identified. K9 unit on standby. Hunter killer drone deployed. Friendly UAV inbound. Counter UAV inbound. Orbital VSAT online. Check your timeline. Swarm on standby. Hard point locked down. Friendly load star inbound. Changing.
got our asses handed to us.